G'day folks, welcome back. Finally lockdown's been lifted and we are out for a catch and cook. So today um, I'm out with my good mate Han, the other snapper maestro. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, any trip with Arne, yeah, without fail, we, we're guaranteed to like, bag out on a uh, snap. I think it caught something, right? But he's a catcher in the sun town. Oh, you're on already, eh? <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, so plan for today is um, we're going to be catching our dinner because I didn't bring any food. And uh, 16, 16 weeks uh, in lockdown without any uh, fresh caught fish, chomping at the bit. So as for now, we've got about another hour of sunlight. And uh, the bite should be hitting up as soon as it gets dark. So let's cast one in and uh, see you all back and we're on to a fish. Took it for a bit. This one was um, taken on unweighted, bro. Really? Yeah, unweighted half gilly. Like slight line, man. Oh, it's Trev. Trev. Oops, oh, no, it actually, it took the um, batteries. Alright. Yeah, got it. Sweet! Our first Trevally. Okay, so it looks like we're eating tonight. Oh, easy. 32. Alright, first fish. Nah, it's probably just borderline. I have to measure this one. No, no, I have something for you. <laughs> this one's another keeper. Ah. Yep, good. Sort yourself out. It's all big. There you go, it's on the right. Yeah, yeah that big. Yep, they coming. Alright, they're underway. This one probably just. I could probably sort myself out, bro. And um, we had a quite an awesome result. Just um, right about now, start, the bite's starting to die down a little bit. So um, we've ducked into this little cove here. Um, just swing the camera around. It is a bit dark. I don't know if it's going to pick up. But we're in the middle of Manly Cove. And everyone in their houses are partying, celebrating the end of lockdown. So uh, as mentioned earlier, I'm going to be having uh, fried fish. Actually, I didn't mention that, but um, tonight's recipe, we're going to be having fried fish with a Thai style sauce served with some steamed rice. I'll just give you a look at the couple of fish that we've got there. So these two trevally are going to be on tonight's dinner. Right now I've got a pot of rice cooking 
So while that rice is uh, cooking away, it should be about another 10-15 minutes away. Quickly prepare these fish for the fry pan. And we'll check back in when it's time to cook. Okay, so the rice is cooked and uh, the fish is prepared for the fry pan. I'll just give you a close up on the fish there. So these are two lovely trevally. Um, what I've done them with them is just they've been scaled, gutted, and uh, given a few scores on each side just to help it cook nicely. Uh, also, these are a few cloves of garlic that's been crushed. That's just to um, infuse with the oil, and bring out some aromas. And um, with the fish, I've left a row in there, so that's going to be a lovely surprise. Now, the star ingredient of uh, tonight's recipe is actually this sauce here. This is uh, a sweet and sour tamarind sauce. And um, I'll skip the demonstration on this, um, it's just that because it, it is quite a long process in making this. So I, I wanted to keep this video uh, short and sweet, but uh, I'll include it on a bit of side footage there, along with um, the ingredients and the method in the link in the description down below. So check that out. But as for now, just wait. The oil is just about hot. Let's have a look. The oil's heating up nicely. What we'll do now is we'll put these three cloves of garlic in there just so it infuses with the oil, brings out the aroma. You can smell it, there's a lovely aroma of garlic coming out there and um, the oil is heating up nicely, so it's time to just put the fish in. I chose these two fish there because they're quite perfect fan size. These are just on uh, legal. All right, so we'll let that do its thing for about, let's say 10 minutes, and then we'll flip it over and we'll give it another 10. It's definitely not one of my best catch cooks. I brought the wrong pan and the fish was stuck to the pan, so it's a little bit broken. I mean, nonetheless, the taste will still be quite sensational. Just, um, not as aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So there you have it, crispy fried Trevally and my Thai tamarind sauce. Now, as I mentioned, it's, this is not one of my best catch and cooks uh, in terms of the aesthetic presentation, but rest assured, this is going to be lovely because this fish is uh, so fresh and this sauce is just amazing. Can you, can you smash the rice or? Oh, cool. Yeah, just drown the sauce all over the fish. Some of that sauce there. You're not using chopstick? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, tell us what you think, bro. Real men use forks. Hey, you're not Asian. <laughs> That's delicious, bro. Well done. Well done. Alright, I'm gonna eat now too. So I'll just best describe what this sauce is like. As you know, tamarind is pretty sour. This is a, a perfect balance of sweet, sour, and salty. And um, in it, there's a bit of kapha lime leaf, garlic, and chili, just for the aromatics. So it's just bursting with flavour. And then um, it complements this freshly caught trevally really well. Also, um, Trevally is probably a bit of an unrated fish when it comes to uh, as a cooked fish because it can be a bit dry but um, it is one of my favorite eating fish. I love it for sashimi and cooked in this way. So um, once again guys I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been um, a long time coming for this one. 16 weeks in lockdown and I've been chopping at the bit at every, for every single moment. And I hope that's for now. I'm gonna kick back enjoy um, this lovely dinner of ours and uh, head on home but until the next video bye for now
do sound check. Make sure sound sound good. 